For the last few years, I've had back problems, most likely caused by poor posture when using the computer. A few weeks ago, I had a back spasm, and for a few days I was unable to move most of my body without sharp pain in my back. Using the computer was painful, but I still needed to get work done, especially during midterm season. Both sitting in a chair and slouching in bed caused me to crane my neck, which is not good for my posture. As I was lying there in pain, I wished I had a way to just have the computer screen right above my face while keeping the keyboard on my lap so I could keep my spine fully straight when using the computer. I knew I could do this with a VR headset like Oculus Rift, but those are expensive. They cost around $400. But what if I could use my phone as a VR headset? Since I already own it, the only cost is the VR headset holder. Google Cardboard costs around $5. I tried searching for an app that would allow me to mirror my screen with a stereoscopic view on my phone, but I just couldn't find one in existence. So I made one this weekend. There were a lot of technical challenges implementing this. In order to have a low latency stream to the phone, I had to do a wired connection over USB, but Apple doesn't support this natively. I use an external framework called PeerTalk, but they only allow raw TCP packets to be sent over the USB from the computer to the phone, so I had to serialize each frame deserialize it on the phone, and then display it stereoscopically all in real time. First, launch the app on your computer. As you can see, it's waiting for the companion app to be launched on the phone connected by USB. Once it's connected, I can start the stream, and then there's a stereoscopic view that's displayed on the companion app. Although it looks small, modern phones are pretty high resolution, so it's easy to read the text on the screen. Now simply slide it into the holder and put it on your head. Now I can happily use my computer in bed without any issues, plus I get a full screen view. Thanks for watching.